105.9 Kiss. Love that right there. Stevie Wonder, All I Do. I know that's one of your favorite songs too, right, Anna? Absolutely, absolutely. We've been in here jamming, y'all. <laughs> yes, we have. We got Angie Stone's new song, Do What You Gotta Do, off of Rich Girl, which comes out on <coughs> the 25th. Uh -huh. This is what you, you're hearing in the background, if I could get it going. This is what, uh, what we've been in here jamming to. And uh, <laughs> as you all know, Andy Stone has uh, a concert tonight at Shane Park. Tickets are still available at the Shane Park box office. So make sure y'all y'all go get your tickets. It's going to be a great show tonight. Absolutely. We're going to have some fun. That's right. And like I said, do what you got to do. It um, Rich Girl comes out September 25th. 25th. Uh, the single is out now. You can go on iTunes. You can check it out. Um, you're just hearing the music in the background. But right now we're rose up the charts so fast within three weeks we were top 15 and we're looking at a top 10 single right now hopefully we can go all the way to number one now that y'all Troy is on the game y'all hear a little something but come down tonight and you'll definitely get to hear it live and party with me a little bit that's right cannot wait for that mm -hmm. now um you were mentioned you mentioned earlier today that um sparkle is one of your favorite movies. it is it's, i have the original sparkle yes I in, love in my in my uh dvd case mm -hmm. i thought i own Kara and them did a great job and of course curtis mayfield is one of my favorites he did the soundtrack and aretha franklin did all of the music so that you know that's a collector's item absolutely mm -hmm. i think i still have it on vhs oh do it, you? it was one of my well, they, favorite i got the trend, i got the when they transferred it over to dvd see i have to get that yes i didn't know they did that but i'm really excited about this new one coming up because it's up to date and you know i'm, I'm eager to see what they do with it uh-huh I, I saw it the other day we had jordan sparks in the studio with us right. i believe on monday tell me did they keep the red dresses they kept mm, oh i don't want to oh. give it away see, okay I don't, don't, don't say nothing away. Because I saw blue dresses on the advertising, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm hoping they didn't get rid of the red dresses. Cause, but I mean, you're in a blue, they're <laughs> mine, I guess. Hey, I like blue. <laughs> I like blue too. Uh, it was one red dress. It was one red dress. One red dress. I, I bet you I know what red dress it was, but I'm just going to wait. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a great film. I love what they did with it. They made a lot of changes. You're going to be shocked. They did. You're going to be shocked, but the acting was superb. Really? I mean, yes, everything, the chemistry on set, and of course, Whitney Houston's I final know. performance uh, was in that film. How was it? It was great. It was great. She did a song in the church, uh, His Eyes is on the Sparrow, uh -huh. and it was Whitney. Like, you could hear Whitney. Wow. Yeah, it, it is a, gr a great film. And you know, her birthday is uh, tomorrow. Well, Whitney's a good friend of mine. Whitney worked on um, children's charity. A lot of people don't know about every year Whitney gave away. Uh, in her community, she gave away toys, and I was one of the people that got to stand in two years in a row and help her pass out toys. And she was just, she had a huge heart, and you know, a lot of what you hear, you know, about Whitney, too much negative gets focused on things that are irrelevant. Some of the good stuff that she really did that made a difference in so many lives need to be talked about and that was one of the things that I prided her in. It actually inspired me to, you know, get more involved with the children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good because like you said, not a lot of people know that side of Whitney. I know. And she did, she touched a lot of people, not just it in did. her music. I mean, and just everyday people. Like, I didn't know right. her, but I was on the set of Sparkle. Right. And uh, had a chance to meet her in a, in a scene that she was shooting. And she just walked in and spoke to everybody like she had oh. knew them. Like, we were right. good friends. And oh, she right. made you feel special. And, and that's what I oh, loved hey. about Whitney Houston. Wow. It's Angie Stone. Thank you so much. Thank you.